So lately I've been seeing a lot of teams make these chargers um, with screens on them that show their battery voltage. Uh, so I thought it would be a cool video to show how to make these. And it's actually pretty easy. All you need is uh, one of these displays, which I'll put a link in the, the description for, um, a soldering iron, and a uh, hot glue gun. And also a battery, and a charger, and a knife, and some electrical tape. And that's all you need. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is put on some nice gloves. Um, I'm putting on some nice warm gloves, that way my hands don't get cold um, while I'm in the middle of putting this stuff together. Uh, you could also use surgical gloves, that way the smart charger will feel more comfortable going into this operation knowing that you're well uh, equipped. Um, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is get your charger and then your, um, your voltmeter display. It might be different, so there's like these ones with two wires and then there's like these ones here that have three wires. Um, if yours have three wires, um, just connect the white and the red when you're soldering them together and it should work fine. Um, but for this, I'll just use this simple red and black because it's, it's easier to do. So yeah, actually first what you're going to want to do is, I guess second, because I already said first, is get your battery and like plug it in and, um, find out like which side is red and which side is black and then trace it back to here so you know which side to solder these wires to or connect you don't have to solder all right so before you uh, start putting stuff together make sure that you're disconnected from all power see i've unplugged it so that i'm not going to get electrocuted because um, if you get electrocuted you could die and that's not very good um, on this side here with the battery that plugs in um, it outputs 20 volts, so it, it it's still not a very good idea to have it plugged in, um, even to the battery, because it's still electricity and you can get shocked with electricity. Um, all right, so the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is uh, cut away some of this rubber here so that you can get um, the copper wires underneath exposed so you can solder to them. Um, this little pen tool that I have, this little pen knife, will work just fine to scrape it away. So I'll just use that. Um, but you can really use any tool that you want to use, as long as it can cut through rubber to get to the copper wires underneath. Um, that's about as much as you want exposed. Any more and you might short circuit the wires. Um, just be really careful and make sure you don't actually like cut yourself because um, like electrocuting yourself, it's also bad. So after you have like about this much um, exposed, actually maybe a little bit more, because um, you want enough to like get a good contact. So that's good. Um, just make sure not to like knock stuff over. Um, okay, so next thing you wanna do, you're gonna wanna do is um, tin your wires uh, so to do that, you're going to want to get a soldering iron. You don't have to do this if you don't have a soldering iron. It will be pretty hard to do without a soldering iron. So you just want to like apply a little bit of solder just to the end of your wire. And make sure you're in a well-ventilated area like me. Um, and make sure to clean your soldering iron too. A lot of people don't do that and I hate it. Alright, and next thing you're going to want to do is tin the little contacts that you exposed from before. Try not to inhale any of this stuff in either because it's really bad for your lungs. All right, so from before when you determined which side is red and which side's black, you're gonna wanna solder the red wire to the red part and the black wire to the black part. So to do that, you just solder. If you don't have a soldering iron, you can still do this by just like twisting the wires together. Um, so I'm going to hope that, actually, I'm going to check to make sure that I'm doing this right. All right. So if you're using the same charger as me, you're going to want to connect your black to this side over here. Good. And the red wire, you're going to want to connect to uh, the side with the button on it. I mean the switch.
All right, and after that's done, you can set the soldering iron aside, maybe put it away so it doesn't start a fire. Uh, and then you can check to make sure it's working if you plug your battery in. Uh, like I said earlier, don't do that when a battery is plugged in. Um, yeah, yeah, don't do that. So it's clearly working. Next, what you're going to want to do is just put a little bit of electrical tape around this so that it doesn't cause problems later on. Um, if you have a friend, you can get them to um, to undo the tape and like start peeling it for you um, because it's actually really hard to do with the gloves on. Um, okay, after you got your tape, just uh, wrap it around the wire a little bit. Make it look nice and pretty and safe and safe. Good. So now that that's on, that's safe. Um, make sure you don't cross the wires over while you're doing that. Um, and next thing you're going to want to do is position this on the charger in a nice straight, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A nice, uh, hor uh, um, horizontal perpendicular to the word charger look that's what i was looking for uh, and you're going to take some hot glue and put it all over the back of whichever type of voltmeter you're using and then just stick it down onto your charger like that and then just touch up the edges a little bit underneath the board to make sure you've got a really good connection um, I would suggest testing it before doing this part um, so that you don't have to like undo this because once this hot glue is all on it's really hard to get off. Okay, I think that hot glue is pretty much dry. Um, it's not sticking to me anymore or burning me. So uh, we'll give this a little test. Alright, plugging it in. No fires. So far so good. Let's plug. Oh yeah. Also, right now it says 19.8 uh, volts, and you'll rem you'll remember from before. Uh, hopefully, you'll remember that I said that this charges at 20 volts, which is what this is showing me. So when there's no battery plugged in, it's going to show 20. Um, not much you can do about that, and it's not that much of a problem. So right now this battery is showing 8.66 volts. It looks a little weird on the camera. I promise it looks nicer in real life. Um, but when you got your battery plugged in, it shows you the voltage. And when this little red light is on, it means that it's charging. Um, so it will show a 0.2 volt higher uh, reading. It's it's at, So like right now it's actually 8.5 volts instead of 8.7. But just because it's charging, it's gonna show higher. If you're charging on fast, it'll show a 0.4 increase. Um, but when this light turns green, meaning that it's fully charged, it will stop applying that extra voltage and it will give you an accurate reading. So, good luck if you try this, don't get hurt, and if you do get hurt, um, I'm very sorry. I hope you recover very swiftly, but it's not our fault. So, thank you for watching, and have a great month.